Hi everybody, today I would like to talk about the principle of right to left reading. Now in English we read from left to right and we can see this exemplified in the word dad where we have uh, the letter sequence as one, two, three. Again, this is left to right reading. And in Arabic and Old Turkic, this is contrasted with right to left reading. So a good example in a Latin alphabet for a word that has a analog in Arabic and in Old Turkic is a word for, uh, it's just the word baba. This means father in many languages. So if we want to sequence the letters, we can sequence them like such. One, two, three, four. And again, this is because we're reading from left to right. Now, if we want to use Latin letters in the right to left sequence, how would we do that? We would do them like so. We would begin with B is our first letter. A is the second letter. B the third letter again. And then A the fourth letter. So again, if we want to number this, we need to understand that our I's should first come over here to this B. That is the first place that our I's should be. So to sequence the letters, it's one, two, three, four. And this is the principle of right to left reading. Not that complicated. Now, it would benefit us to look at an actual example from Arabic and in Old Turkic. So I've given you two letters for each script. Uh, for Arabic, where we have the letter A represented with this vertical line. And then we have the letter B represented with this, uh, with this glyph. In Old Turkic, the letter A is represented with this symbol, and the letter B is represented with this symbol. Now, why don't we scroll down and look at a few examples where we can see the principle of right-to-left reading in action. So in Old Turkic, uh, we have the first letter, again, being this B, then A, B again, and then A. One, two, three, four. I hope this is quite intuitive. And again, just as a reminder, the first place our eyes should be is here. That's where we should look first. Uh, we should absolutely not look over here. That would be wrong. Then we would be reading it as abab. And I'm not sure if that's even a word. Uh, again, I just want to point that out down here as well. Uh, this is how it looks when you condense it. Baba, right to left. In Arabic, it's much the same way. The isolated forms of all the letters have been displayed for you down here as such. And again, the sequencing is one, two, three, four. Shouldn't be too complicated. And Arabic is a cursive script. So when we want to write it in actuality, we would join the B and the A together. Now the A doesn't join the next letter. That's just how it is in Arabic. But otherwise, this is how, this is an authentic representation of how it would look in Arabic. And again, we should appreciate this is right to left reading. This B is where your eyes should be drawn to first. Do not look over here. So this is the principle of right to left reading summarized. I hope uh, this has served you well. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you.